Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So we have some new events added to the calendar and I also want to give my best guess at when module 28 is coming. Because yes, it is coming. It is in the works. Despite the bit of a scare last year with regards to the parent company of the game being in debt etc and the layoffs, Neverwinter is still in full swing of production. Whether you think the quality is worse than we've had before, that's down to perspective. I still think the art is very well done, but in terms of mechanic complexity, the new trial was a bit of a disappointment, so we'll have to see. We're most likely getting a new dungeon next time, at least if they follow a similar pattern as they've done before. Now, first things first, the new battle pass, the first contact battle pass that launched back with November the 7th when module 27 came out. This shows that it's going to last until April the 23rd now. This used to be like March sometime. And in fact, it's very odd to see this. If you look through the developer blog on this battle pass when it was released, you can clearly see the dates of which each part is supposed to last. The first part ending December the 12th, the, th the second part January the 16th, and the third part February the 20th. However, it has in small text here, players who purchase the premium track may progress through the last chance period. So you need to be careful of that. And when is the last chance period? Well, it's included in this date here. And if you check the calendar and you can see it activates exactly then on February the 20th, that Tuesday, five weeks after we got the third part. This allows premium pass holders another nine weeks or 63 days to finish the battle pass. This is new. They have not done this before. Usually last chance was only one week. You can see, you check, we're right now on the third part and it says it ends February the 20th. If you have the premium pass, it will probably say it ends April the 23rd as per here. But with that, when is when is module 28 then? Is it going to only come at the end of the last chance period? I mean, that's usually how they did it. So you'd think module 28 would be all the way in April the 23rd. And it could well be. But we can hope maybe it's earlier because there is another clue. We scroll down a bit here and February the 29th, which is a week after February the 20th, although it is on a Thursday and they've usually launched their modules on a Tuesday. So that's another questionable thing, but it allows you to claim free items exactly like we did with module 27. That is another thing that's a bit odd. Why is it exactly the same? It allows you to obtain the same Neverwinter Nights consumable pack, a coal emote and a vanity choice pack. The Neverwinter Night pack with just a stone of health and some scrolls, bit misleading with regards to the name because everybody wants the companion, not this consumable pack, whatever that is, but it's a nice free coal emote. But again, the red flags are there. This starts Thursday and it is already only 25 days away and we have no sign of module 28 coming to the previous server but there doesn't seem to be any reason why this is here when you look at other events is it just some login thing we get the siege of neverwinter then as well along with a lot of other events here including vip discounts we could very well get the new module here but I think it would be a bit too early. So our next best guess would be when the battle pass ends, the last chance period at April the 23rd. Now, additionally, we have a new mount that's coming. It's got an actual useful bonus this time around, and it's coming with the April Fowls event. Right here, starting March the 28th, ending two weeks later, April 11th, and we can get the new mount, the Golden Goose. Now, before we could get the Gilded Goose, which is this one right here. Again, they all come in green, but I upgraded it for the sake of this on this character. And this mount was, yeah, just giving these bonuses. At the time, it did not give Enchanter's Hex because that bonus did not exist. But now it does, which means it's pretty useful. But I would assume this mount's going to the Zen market. So the new mount, the Golden Goose, what will that give? Well, you can check it here and the goose is very similar, just golden. And it's got four insignia slots. 
And well, we can see it's just going to give Warlord's motivation, but you can use it on preferred, meaning you can get a hundred extra item level when you use a mythic insignia in that slot. So that's pretty good for damage dealers. And then it's just got protector's camaraderie and that is it. No other insignia bonus will fit with that. So yeah, it is going to be a good damage dealer mount for warlords to improve your companion's damage. But we also get claims free items during that April Fowl's event as well, which is a bit odd. That's new. They haven't done this before. You can get a bunch of free stuff just for logging in. Day one, you get a title. Day three, you get a bitey basic box, which I'm not sure what that is because I can't like click on it or anything and it doesn't open, but it could well be just a vanity pet. Five days, 50 companion upgrade tokens. Not bad. Seven days, a basic box companion. We can't look at that again either. And then 10 days, 100 insignia powder. All of these you'll have to get from the rewards reclaim agent just here. Again, coming exactly with the April Fowls event for those two weeks. So that's pretty neat. At least the mount will be useful. It is just a reskin though. But maybe you like the goose and this is something a little bit different. Again, my best guess with module 28 launch date is either February the 29th with these claim free items or April the 23rd when the last chance for this new battle pass ends. Another note with that is there is no sign of a new battle pass yet on the calendar. We should see it in a few weeks though if it's going to launch at the end of the last chance of this current one. Ultimately, hopefully this was somewhat insightful. Development for Neverwinter still seems to be in pretty full swing. We've had a lot worse modules than we've just had. The Moon Dancer on advanced version actually dropping some decent gear is a pretty decent thing for new players. The master version, yeah, a bit underwhelming, but it is what it is. Once again, a massive thank you to all of these channel members, and we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.